Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh. So welcome back to another video. <laughs> I haven't been on here in a while and today I just looked at my camera and I was like, I gotta set it up and talk to you guys about the first thing that comes to my mind and update you guys on our lives and all of the exciting things that are going on because as you can see, one of the first things, we're not in the same house anymore so we moved places. The kids have a little bit more room now. We've had kids now for two and a half years which is insane because I feel like not filming as much and just being with the kids has been something that we've really been prioritizing. But now, since they're getting a little bit older, I feel like there's so many things that are coming to my mind that I wanna talk to you guys about in regards to this topic. And so, if you don't have kids, if you do have kids, if you're thinking about having kids, these are all things that in my mind, I'm like, okay, I think there's pieces that I would be able to help you guys out with and just like basically give you parts of my brain that I'm learning and, and just going with the flow with. <laughs> and hopefully those pieces will be able to help you guys out too. So yeah, we're in a new place. So yeah, I hope that you guys are doing absolutely amazing. I hope that making a video like this is a good way to come back and to kind of, you know, be with you guys again and to chat with you guys and just hang out. So if you do have any questions, at the end of this video leave them in the comments or if you just want to just ask a question and and yeah I haven't forgot about you guys at all I literally think about you guys every single day that I'm not filming a video and so today is a pretty special day because I feel like I'm now back in a point where I want to like turn the camera back on and talk to you guys about this stuff so I have some exciting videos coming up this is gonna be just one of the first ones to kick it off but today's video I wanted to talk to you guys about some different things that I wish I knew before I had kids and just some things that kind of we've learned over the last little like two and a half years so if you guys are new to my channel hit the subscribe button if you've never seen one of my videos before I hope that you take some value out of this one or any of the other ones and with that being said let's jump into today's video all right so realizing the effects of sleep deprivation and just knowing that that was gonna be a thing but then at the same time not really like thinking it was gonna be a big deal I feel like that's one thing that I wish I realized beforehand was like that is gonna be one of the most most important things. So what we ended up doing was they have so many apps out there now that you can download that basically put your kids on like a certain schedule. And so we downloaded this app called Huckleberry and this video isn't sponsored by any companies. This is just something that we literally just use every single day. But Huckleberry gives you the opportunity to like track all of your kids sleep, all of their food, all of their things that they do throughout the day. And it becomes really valuable because at the end of the day, if you're not getting a lot of sleep, you can't really take care of your kids or your babies the way that you should be and so having them on a really good schedule was something that really came in handy when Slater was going through his first like six months and so downloading Huckleberry was a huge hack that I feel like worked out really good for us and now because we have the second baby that baby is now on the whole Huckleberry system as well and it works great. So just realizing that sleep deprivation is gonna be a thing and it can just totally mess up your day if you're not getting the sleep that you need. So trying to just schedule it as best as you can. Everything is not gonna be perfect. You're gonna have those days where your kid literally wakes up every half an hour or every hour. But I think that they eventually get on the system of learning like their schedules and learning the schedule that you give them and that becomes a really, really easy way to just try to get some more sleep at the end of the day for you so that's the first thing I wish that I realized that like getting them on a schedule and that sleep was gonna be such a big factor in all of this but eventually you figure it out a huckleberry was a really good way in order to kind of schedule the sleep but that's the first one it's just sleep deprivation <laughs> and just getting over that and figuring out ways to help yourself all right so the next one is the emotional roller coaster that comes along with having kids there's so many different things that are gonna be happening that are new that you didn't have in your house before that you didn't really have to experience but then when they start happening you start to realize that your emotions start to change a lot so for instance when you don't have kids in your house that are crying I felt that when we brought home Slater for the first time one thing that I noticed was that when he would cry it would actually make me feel not like really emotional but you'd feel something inside of you that was like not like a sad feeling but you just felt like you had to help them in every way that you could because somebody's crying and that's 
one thing that I thought was really weird <laughs> was that you don't really experience that beforehand, but then as soon as you have this little baby crying, you kind of, you get a sense of like, okay, what can I do to help? How does this gonna like, how am I gonna make this better? And that emotionally affects you. And then another emotional aspect is like, you start to then become more patient with things because when a baby is crying and you're trying to help them, but everything that you're doing isn't helping them, you start to then realize that there's nothing that you can really do except for just be there for them or hold them or feed them. And then you start to like get this new sense of patience that you just didn't know that you had. <laughs> so there's a couple of different emotional aspects of having kids that I wish I knew beforehand, but going through it is just the journey of having, you know, all these amazing things happen. But that's one thing that I feel like you just have to learn as you go. And it's not really something that you can prepare for because you can't just have a baby in your house before. So that's another one is like the emotional ups and downs of just realizing that there's gonna be certain things that you feel emotionally that are gonna change, but they're all good things in the long run. Like now when the kids are crying, you kind of know how to feel and you know how to help them. But at the very first start of it, you kind of feel like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to help them. I don't know if this is how I'm supposed to be feeling about it all, but eventually you kind of find your way. So another thing that I wish I knew was just the fact that there are so many good product marketing videos out there now that you don't really sometimes know what is essential versus what's non-essential. And I feel like if you're going out and you're just buying all the products that you see online, and there's a lot of articles out there that are like selling affiliate things, and so you'll think that you need things, but then at the end of the day, you'll get it, and then you're like, I didn't actually need a baby wipe warmer because like you're going around all the time and you're not gonna bring it with you and all these different things. And so I think that one thing I wish I knew is that there are gonna be so many products that are really essential that you like really need, like good bottles and like a good bassinet so that they can sleep and a good stroller and all those things. But just to be careful when it comes to like little product marketing videos that try to sell you on something that you don't actually need, there's like very impractical things that I think that are out there that eventually you start to learn like, okay, I don't actually need that. I just need the stuff like a baby bottle warmer. You can literally warm up a bottle in a hot well, like thing of water. You don't need a baby bottle warmer. And this is just my personal opinion. There's so many uh, like people that will use this stuff, but I just feel like deciding what's essential and what's non-essential is going to be really important and, and would have been really nice for me to know before I had kids, but we just had to learn it that way. So that's another one. All right. So, so the next one is the impact that having kids has on your relationship. And by this, I mean, there's so many great things that come along with having kids and so many things that you kind of get really excited for and things that you're waiting for and all of these amazing moments that you know are about to happen. And then what happens is then you have your baby, but then a lot of the time that you used to spend with your partner now goes into this baby. And so being able to go through those like ups and downs and realizing that you're not gonna be spending as much time with your partner as you used to, it's just one of those things that you kind of have to learn and you have to be able to communicate really well with the person that you're in a relationship with. And if you feel like you're not getting enough attention or you feel like you're not getting enough time or you feel like you're kind of spending too much time with the baby and there hasn't been like enough maybe talking or hanging out with your partner, those are all things that need to be talked about and addressed and just making sure that you guys are both on the same page is going to be really important because having kids does affect your relationship like you are bringing somebody into your house that wasn't there before and now you're like there's three of you there isn't two of you anymore <laughs> and so just making sure that you're really uh, thoughtful about all of that and making sure that like your partner gets the same amount of attention that they need so that it doesn't feel like they're being left out or it feels like you're being left out and just making sure that you kind of are really good at communicating that is something that's really important. And your relationship at the end of the day, you're raising this baby together. And after all of the years that go by where your baby becomes then self-sufficient and they can do their own things, then you just wanna make sure that going back to the relationship that you guys had, and overall, you just want the journey to be a really fun one and a really like exciting one and all of these great things to come out of raising all these kids or baby or whoever it is. And at the end of the day, having kids is one of the best things in the whole world. And so being able to do it with your best friend or your partner that you're doing it with is the greatest thing 
ever. So I think communication is just a really great way to keep your guys' relationship really good together and then being able to just effectively like pass that on to your kids so that they can see what a good relationship is is really cool too so that's another one so yeah realizing that your relationship is going to change with your partner is something that i wish i knew beforehand but going through it together has been one of the best experiences ever and you just learn as you go all right so moving on to another one which i think is important is the pressures of social media because right now when you go online you see all of these parents hanging out with their kids having the best absolute most amazing time in the world and it looks like nobody is having a hard time when in reality behind the scenes you know that there's some stuff going on and things that like every parent goes through a time where something is really difficult something's really hard they're having to figure something out but you don't see those things online and I think that for new parents or people that are wanting to have kids it doesn't give you a good reality of like what having kids is because you see all of these like amazing things and you think that like you having a kid might not live up to what you see online when in reality nobody is perfect like nobody is on there living the perfect parent life there's gonna be challenges and I think that like just realizing that is something really important that you guys need to know if you don't have kids is that it doesn't look like how everybody else's relationships look online where everything is perfect because every, people only post the things that look really good and things that are like super easy and like all the amazing things that they're buying and doing but in reality it's not exactly like that so just realizing that social media does have a lot of pressures that are related to it and sometimes taking a break off social media can be good, especially if you are a parent and you're raising a baby because you don't wanna be going through the ups and downs of having a new baby and then also feeling like that at the same time. And it's just a natural thing that I feel like ends up happening. But, and yeah, realizing that that's a pressure is something that I think we forget sometimes and makes us feel a certain way when we just need to take a step back and realize that people are only posting the good things <laughs> that happen in their relationships and with their kids. All right, the next one is just the important importance of having a social network. I think that when you're having kids, you don't really think that like a social network or people around you is going to be as important as it actually is because you're doing it and you're like just kind of all prepared for it and it's just all you and the baby and you're going through it with your spouse and all these people. But then eventually you start to realize that like if you and your your husband or wife or girlfriend, boyfriend want to go do something, like having people around you that can either take care of your baby or be there to help or if if you're having a really emotional day and you don't have the answers to the questions that you like feel like you need, having somebody there that's been through those situations or somebody there that you can just talk to is gonna be really valuable. So yeah, I feel like expectations, <laughs> you don't really think that it's gonna be that big of a deal and you just think that it's gonna be a lot of you having to do all of these things, but you can just open up and ask people the situations that they've been through in order to ease your mind or if you need help, they'll be there to help you and that's something that I think is gonna be a really big advantage if you're able to have a bunch of people around you that can help. All right, so I'm gonna end this on a really good positive note because having kids is the most amazing, best thing can he, I can't even explain how amazing it is when you're able to just watch these little people that you created and your wife created that like are now in the world that you're teaching to do things and they're learning things it's like it's crazy you can't even explain it so I just think that like that unconditional love is something also that you don't really know of before you have kids which is a really cool thing to experience when you do so yeah that's the last one <laughs> having kids is the best thing in the whole world I wish I could spend every Every single second of every day with them doing things um, and watching them grow up is the best thing ever. So, Alright, so those are a bunch of different things that I wish I knew of before I had kids. I feel like there's so many things that I'm still learning as I'm going and it's been a huge like change and the last two and a half years have just been so like up and all over the place and having to move and not being able to film and like doing other things and I feel like now I'm at a point where I feel like we're super comfortable and we're able to now relax a little bit and even though the kids are super busy and everything at the end of the day to feel like we're just doing the best that we can is something that I think is really important 
important and being able to share a lot of the ideas and thoughts and things that I'm learning with you guys is something that I think is really important that really like makes me feel good and I love being able to talk to you guys just about anything that's going on. That's why I started this channel and why I talk to you guys about these things is because I just want to be able to kind of talk to you guys. I just want to be able to talk about the things in life that are really important. So if you guys do have any questions or if you're about to become a parent or you're thinking about having kids or you've had kids. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye.